my name is Chris and I'm part of the support team here at True. Today I'm going to create a three-part video series designed to introduce you to the workflow of True and how to incorporate it into your own business. Uh, I will briefly go over the different modules within the jobs workflow found here starting from leads that get upgraded into quotes and then jobs that then get invoiced. Now there's there are certain ways to input a lead, but the way that I'm going to discuss is by going to this lightning bolt and viewing the calendar. In this way, you can view the open slot and then collect the customer information. So before I get into it, the, the two areas of note that uh, we'll need to discuss are the different views and the different filters. The different views within the calendar are important to um, the specific type of information you are trying to view. So if I'm opening right now the month view, I'll see the entire month at a glance. It's not organized by time in any way. You just see everything that is on for that month. For example, if I wanted to view the schedule of a of a salesman or an estimator, I can use what what we refer to as a resource schedule view. What this does is it takes the resource filter, which is uh, essentially a person that can be assigned or a user that can be assigned um, and views it breaks those out by the time uh, for for each day so right now I have Chris George as an estimator highlighted I'm gonna see all of Chris George's jobs um, by the day and I also have appointments highlighted so a status filter is essentially the stage of a job whereas the resource filter is a person assigned to that. So I have appointment here. You can also include installations um, in different stages of the installation. You can also, for, uh, for resource, include members of crew of, of crews or subcontractors. Um, this area is where you can kind of create your own individual process, uh, and we can discuss this in a welcome call. But for now, I have appointments and a uh, salesman highlighted and these are the existing schedules within his calendar already um, if I click on this you'll see I have a location um, this is the estimator the resource the status I have a contact attached to this and I have a quote attached to this if I was an estimator I can simply hit this gear icon hit the edit button and and click on this job contract work ticket to navigate me directly to a quote which I can then provide an estimate but I'm gonna walk through that step by step so I see here that Chris George has an opening on Thursday at 1 o'clock I have a customer on the phone and they are good with this date I'm gonna double click 1 o'clock select new event and from here I don't have to enter in any more information but I can if I need to I'm going to select the gear icon, select edit, and this is going to pull up the edit card. Right now you'll see that this card is blank. If done correctly, all of this information will be filled out and the estimator can simply open this up and click on this to navigate directly to the quote. I'm going to select new lead and I'm going to be brought to this new contact wizard. Here I can enter in um, all my information And what I can do is actually search for existing contacts that have the same information using this search button. If you have an existing contact, you'll want to match the record. And this is an easy way to do that. In most cases, however, what you'll do is add a new contact. But this feature will search uh, the phone number, address, city, first and last name, and, and pull up any matches. Right now you'll see that I actually did a test with uh, some of this information, but I'm not going to select this because this is going to be a, a new customer. So I'm going to hit add new contact and what I'm doing is I'm creating a contact and flagging that contact as a lead so that it can appear in this leads module. And what I've done here is create a lead record. You'll see all the information, you'll see that it's scheduled. and you'll see other relevant information that you can input such as a source of where the uh, where the lead came from you can create notes in your activity log that you can use internally um, such as 
the customer has a dog. So to watch out for that dog. Anytime an action is taken in true, most times it'll be noted in this activity log, timestamped in by the user that, um, that, that, that provided that. Additionally, all notes that are input will be recorded here as well. You can also set up different attributes, um, such as if you need a utility locate, or um, if there's a HOA, or, or you need a, or do you need a um, site plan? Essentially, questions that you would ask every customer and that you would want to be filled out every time. You can also add a business card, and last but not least. This is uh, the important part that you'll need to fill out is the assign. So you'll want to assign that to um, the correct estimator. In this case, I don't have all my users set up on this on this account, so I'm not going to do that, but that is a crucial step. Now, at this stage, you're not complete. You have scheduled this lead, you have created a contact, and that contact exists in the leads module right now. But if I go to my calendar, the estimator will not have access to this quote simply by clicking on the schedule, opening up the gear icon and edit card that I referred to and click on that contracts, contract work tickets field. Simply all I have to do from this point, is select options and upgrade to a new quote. What this is going to ask me is if I want to create an existing client, select an existing client or create a new client based on this contact. Now the difference between a contact and a client is the client is who is going to be billed. Um, in, in, in a lot of cases they're going to be the same people so you can just select new but in some scenarios you might have a maintenance company or um, another, another company that will be footing the, the, the cost of the project but is not the point of contact. In that, that case you can hit select and select an existing client or create an, a, a client that you can then attach this contact to. So I'm going to select new and what it's going to do is upgrade this lead to a quote. Now that lead no longer ex now that, that lead no longer exists in the leads module but can be found in the quotes module and you'll see here I have a client, a point of contact who in this case are the same, a job site, a quote ID, and I can input other information here such as a customer PO, any terms, and a tax type or tax exempt. I'm going to hit done and you'll see my activity log was brought over. Um, it is currently scheduled and it shows that who it's assigned to. Any kind of files, emails, notes that were added and additionally you can add more. And last but not least, you I will show you what it looks like on the calendar. Um, but at this stage, this is now ready for an estimator to view and provide a quote. If I open up the lightning bolt and go to calendar, here I will see the quote that I just scheduled from 1 to 2 o'clock. It now has a quote assigned to it, and the estimator can simply hit the gear icon, edit, and select this field. Now they are ready to provide a, a, a physical estimate that they can email, get e-signed, um, or that they can print out for their records. I will be creating a video. The next video in this series will be going over the quotes module, how to generate a quote, an e-form, and how to email slash e-sign that e-form, and the steps required for the estimator.